Savvy for Make Life Your Runway, and I'm here with my weekly makeup basket. Okay, we're not quite weekly anymore, but we still have to sing it. But this is where I shop my stash to pick makeup to use for the next week or two or three. We just kind of are vibing with it, okay? We don't have we don't have a calendar attached. We're just following our makeup hearts. <laughs> uh, we are still doing the uh, curated fall makeup capsule, so I'll have that video linked but uh, if you're curious to hear the thoughts on what I have been using and what we're going to switch out to, then just keep watching. Here we go. All right, guys, we switched in our last video, I'll have that linked, to using this organizer uh, to put my bathroom. And I love it. I absolutely love it. So I have all my brushes and tools here in the top one. So we'll just leave that stuff there. Um, and then I have them divided out by like um, sections of the face, I guess. So all base products are here. So I pull this out, use it 100% for face, and then put it away. Um, I don't think we'll be switching out. I do also have some lip products in here as well. Um, I don't think we'll be switching anything out. I have the same lip products that we pulled last week. So um, we'll keep that just to recap, we have two of the Maybelline Super Stay inks. This top one is in 40 Believer, and the other one, the bottom one, is 100 Philosopher. So we'll leave that in there. I threw in this NARS, uh, like, Laguna lip product situation just because I never actually ended up using it during the summer, but it is, like, a nice kind of bronzy gloss. So we have that in there. And then we have some other glosses, like we have the Fruit Butter Lip Mask. This one is by Seraphine. Uh, then we have a Milani. This is one of their Fruit Fetish in Pumpkin Spice from a couple years back. And then, of course, my Tried and True. This is the Too Faced Melted in Queen Bee. So those are all the lip products that I have been rotating through, and we'll just go ahead and keep those in. As far as base products, we're not going to change these because I am panning these. So I'm not going to switch them until they're completely done, which we are getting there. I have the Urban Decay All Nader Ultra Glow Face Primer. This is a dewy foundation grip primer. And as you can see, this might be its last go around for uh, the makeup basket. But we'll just keep using it until it is completely done. The foundation that I'm using is the L'Oreal. This is the True Match Lumi. Mine's an N12 uh, Neutral Classic Ivory. I really am enjoying this, and it's so hard to tell how much is in here. So I think one day it just won't pump anymore. I've had it sitting upright uh, for a couple of days, and it nothing settled. So I can't really see how much I have left in here, but we'll keep going on that. I am pretty low on my concealer, which is exciting. This is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. Mine is in light peach. I am enjoying using this, and we're just going to keep using it until nothing is left. I still have the stopper in, so we're not that low on it, but I will, if I can, pull the stopper out and really finish it up. I did pull in another e.l.f. product. I did this off camera, but this is the e.l.f. Flawless Brightener Concealer, and I just wanted to play with a concealer, uh, like a brightening kind of thing, so I have been using that. I'll do my primer foundation, tap a little bit of that on under my eyes, and then go in with the concealer, and I have been enjoying that combo. Then, once I'm done with that, I'll put it away. And then I'll pull out this. And this is all of like my powder products, color products. This is where we'll switch some things out. But I am also panning a few things in here as well. So to set my face, I am using one of two options. I have the L'Oreal True Match. This is a classic powder. So I'll either use this or the other one that I'll show you. But mine is in Light Ivory tried and true. I've gone through so many of these over the years. Um, as you can see, I've hit a lot of pan and we are making progress. I think next year, okay, so this year's Project Pan Focus, which I need to do an update, 
was on the cream products in my collection. And if you've been watching Keeping Up My Videos, you know, you've seen, I've done such a good job. I'm down to just a couple of foundations, a couple of concealers, a couple of setting sprays, a couple of primer, primers, etc. Whereas before, I had upwards to 5 to 10 in each category. Some did have to be uh, decluttered because they went bad. Some I gave to a friend and some I actually used up. I think next year's focus should be on my powders because I have so many powders, both pressed and loose, because I just over the years have fixated on powders and now I have quite a collection of them. But they take so much time to work through. But that might be a category in this upcoming year that I just, even if I don't, pan everything in my in that category I'm not purchasing in that category and that's really what has helped me with the liquids is I I haven't purchased any I think I've purchased one foundation through this whole past year so that also helps keep things under control but I digress here is the other powder that we're using this is the Too Faced Ethereal powder this did come off line for a while but it's back so whether it's the same formula or not I'm not sure but it is the ethereal powder it's so good mine's a few years old at this point and as you can see I've used a good bit of it so I'm just going to keep both of these powders in here until we have used them up so those will go right back in and then another product that I'm panning is this Tarte Park Avenue Princess this one is so old. I love that the new Tarte Holiday Powder palette has this bronzer in it. It makes me want to buy it, but I'm not. <laughs> but guys, look at this. Look at this. Oh my gosh. It's quite possible that this one is done by our next Chop My Stash as well. Definitely, this is the only bronzer I've been using. I love it clearly and I'm excited to use it up because it is on the older end it might be something that I purchased down the road but again bronzers is another large category of my collection so those will stay in here um but I'll show you these products are what I've been using on the face and we'll switch those out here in a little while the Natasha Denona super glow highlighter I have really enjoyed using this and I get so hey so many compliments when I use this so this has been nice I'm gonna put it back but it definitely has been fun to play with and this one is in fair and then oh my gosh I've really been loving the Clinique nude pop you can see I've really dug into it uh, over the past few weeks. It just looks really nice on my skin tone, and I don't want to bury it in my collection again. We will put it back for now, but uh, we need to pull this again sometime soon. So we are done with that section. We'll pull out this one. All right, I did have to pull in a new setting spray because I finished. I'll pull it. Have it. Well, I have it sitting right here. Wow. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter. I finished it and I had mixed some other ones in there. But anyways, they're all done. Um, so I pulled out the Wet n Wild Coconut uh, setting spray. This is their three in one and I love this stuff. It's pretty full so it'll probably be in here for a little while but again exciting to be moving through product through using it and not wasting it so we will keep that. I've been using this CoverGirl Advanced Radiance Powder as a finishing powder. That's why it's still holding on but I mean she doesn't have much left in her. <laughs> but I do really enjoy this. This is the Advanced Radiance and Creamy Natural. It's nice if you like to have glowy skin because it has like a little a little glow to it. Um, that's why I like using it as a finishing powder. And then, oh my gosh, I have dug, dug, dug into this palette over the past three weeks. I have absolutely loved using it. I think I have... I don't know use each color at least one time you can see where I really stay with this palette though but it's been so fun playing with this and it's kind of funny how palettes can kind of change your technique like this palette has such pretty matte colors so I've done a lot of matte eyes with it whereas I typically don't do matte eyes but it just looks so pretty because of the tones like a little bit of smoky uh I don't know I just really enjoyed it and just like I was saying with that Clinique blush I do not want this to get buried in my collection again but we will put it back this has been so fun to use over the last couple of weeks um okay I 
I have been just leaving in this hourglass uh, palette. This is one of the older ones. So I like to have just an all-in-one easy palette for like super quick makeup days. So we'll leave that in there. I'm currently using the Maybelline. This is the Falsies Mascara. I love this one. It's so good. I'm keeping in the Wonder Brow. Um, and I have a couple more lipsticks here. Oh, and I have in here the e.l.f. Brow Lift. I actually like using this on days that I don't really have makeup on. I'm just kind of doing like an SPF um, situation because it does add just a little life to my brows. A um, couple of lipsticks. We have one from Melt. This one is called Old Rose. And then we have one from Charlotte Tilbury. This one is called Nude Romance. So freaking pretty um so we'll leave those in there and then we have a few brow products so i actually finished a brow, brow product that i had to switch out i finished the wet and wild retractable brow pencil and taupe i did really enjoy that but of course i have more in my collection i actually think these might be the last couple that are like back stock in my collection i have the billion dollar brows in taupe and then I have this uh, brow stylist. It's like the wider one from L'Oreal in dark blonde. I tried painting this actually a couple of years ago and I still have it. So she's pretty old there. Um, I have in this uh, Laura Mercier um, shadow stick in rose gold. I still haven't really used it, but it's there. I've been really loving this Tartiste uh, eyeliner and I've been playing with the liquid side because it has both on each side and I'm I'm getting there I'm getting there and then I'm still using the brow wow and taupe to set my eyes so that's everything that we are gonna leave in but we do need to grab um powder a highlight an eyeshadow and we're gonna keep working through our curated makeup over to the side okay y'all I am I have found <laughs> a sweet spot with my channel of alternating vlogs and makeup it seems like you guys are enjoying that as well but I had to take a week off from posting my birthday week because I took days off work like vacation days and y'all know <laughs> I think vacation days are a scam because you have to still do the work you just have like a shorter time period so I just I had the video filmed for that week but it, I just didn't have time to like edit and post it. So that's up. That was my Sunday uh, reset routine. Um, so then here's this makeup video. So I will post uh, another vlog next. But the one after that will be a makeup uh, haul. Because I bought makeup for my birthday. And it's still being like coming into the mail. mail. So that one will be a couple weeks out. But I'm so excited to share with you guys what I got, but to also play with it. So we'll keep this curated pile probably through the end of November, maybe even to the first uh, week of December or so. But then we will switch it out or maybe Vlogmas will be when we switch it out because that's coming up. So we'll see. I'm a little nervous about Vlogmas. I typically only do 14 days. Uh, but my work hours are so intense now and they're not super flexible. So I'm a little nervous, but I've done it for the past like four years and we've made it work. So I'm just going to trust that we will make it work. All right. But long story short, let's pick through this curated makeup. Like I said, we picked this out together. So that video will be linked, but otherwise let me push to the side things that we have already used through this curation curation is that the right word um we've used that we've used that um let's see i know i had some like chopping block items in here this one being one this is the wet and wild precious petals uh highlighter so i think that we will pull this just to see if this is something that I want to keep in my collection or if this is something that I need to pass along to a friend. Um, and then another chopping block item is this um, 
auto bomb girl power blush from the bomb and it's called bourbon street and i haven't used this so this will be a second chopping block item so i still want to pull some other products to use um okay i really want to pull the abh arm Reezy, arm Reezy. I have not used this highlighter in so freaking long and my skin is pretty light and I can still make it work and I'm just so so excited to use this I mean when look at that I don't even know when the last time I used it was but uh yeah it's time look at that oh I love like wet highlighters um like, actually, let's swatch this Wet n Wild one the, for comparison. Because it, this is Precious Petals. Because they're honestly, like, pretty similar, yeah? Are they dupes? This one might be, a, the Precious Petal might be, like, slightly darker. But their, like, sheen and everything is very similar. So, that's exciting. I'll pull, I'll swatch this uh, Bourbon street as well see i'm just worried that might be like a little too dark for me i'm learning through the years that the the colors that look the most um uh i don't know the the colors of me that look the most flattering that's what i'm looking for are more of like these nude like clinique pop nude pop or this tart exposed like these are ones that look the most flattering on me and these dark ones are doable, but for everyday use, they look uh, like a bit much on me. So, I don't know. We'll see. You know, you got to use a light hand and all of that when you apply it. Um, this e.l.f. one is also on the chopping block, so maybe we'll pull it next time. It's always rosy um, as a chopping block item, but I think we have enough for today. So, I'm kind of leaning towards pulling this Caring Coral by Glowish. I mean by, it's Huda, Huda, but it's the Glowish line. Um, or the Hourglass. This one is Mood Exposure. This one is so pretty and I haven't used it in a while. This one is also pretty. I used it in summer, but I think I want to do the Hourglass. Yeah. Let's go with this Hourglass one. This was a birthday gift from me to me quite a few years ago, and it's still hanging on. It still looks good. Um, we love it. So these are still items that we haven't pulled on this round of chopping block, so we'll have to get to them um, next time. Or er, chopping block <laughs> of this, like, curated makeup. I'm taking a break from this California in a box from Catrice. This is my palette of the year. I've hit pan on a lot of it, but these are, well, the blushes are fine. The bronzers are just too dark, and it looks a little intense on me. So I just, I don't know. I might be done with it. We'll see. I won't make any decisions yet. Um, Eyeshadow. I do just like to pull one of each. I find when I'm getting ready, it's just the less options, the better. So we get the exciting options when we do the shop my stash but when I'm actually getting ready it's nice to not have so many options it just makes the whole process go a little bit faster um okay naked cherry I want something that's a little bit more versatile versatile since I'm going to be using this for a few weeks at a time so the hourglass pro uh the violet sorry violet goss holy grail Pro is definitely an option. I've seen some of you guys pulling it here recently. Um, this is highlighter and blush, so we'll push that to the side. We have Urban Decay Born to Run. This would be another really pretty good option to use. Um, or, I don't really want this. I have two Morphe, Morphe ones here to the side. The Jacqueline one might be nice to pull. I know a lot of you guys have the Emily edit, or you did, and you like when I talk about it. So this could be a good one as well. Uh, well, I'm kind of 
leaning towards this one, the Violet Voss Holy Grail Pro Eyeshadow Palette. I think this is just so everyday. It's so pretty. Like, you can really do it all. <laughs> so, I think this might be the one that I pull for this go-around. Yeah, like, Cool Beans, Toffee. Those look like great one and done. We have a lot of crease colors, but also some options of berries and kind of oranges. You can smoke it out down here or do more of a darker single shadow one and done type situation. So I think I'll go ahead and pull this as the eyeshadow palette. But as I was um, trying to decide what to do, I was thinking I really want to pull this as well. This is an ABH uh, Glow Sugar Kit highlighting palette. This was also a birthday gift from me to me a couple of years back and I think this will be great to have an addition to that Amrezy um, just because there are some lighter options here that are more my skin tone um, but there's also a lot of fun options like some of these shift a little bit which is nice so we'll pull that as well but I think that's going to be everything that we pull. Let me move all of this out of the way. Let's put the shadow and highlighter down here. And chopping block, block items will go here. I don't think, yeah, neither of these palettes are going to fit. So I'm just going to have them sit on top in my restroom. Just like that. <sighs> okay, that was fun. Yay! Alright guys, thank you so much for picking these products out with me and just sitting down to talk about makeup from the lens of a more curated selection opposed to my whole collection. Let me know. I know it's weird to be talking about Vlogmas, but y'all, we're just a few weeks out. So let me know down below, like, what kind of videos you want to see. Typically, I do some vlogs. I do the clutters or inventories on my makeup collection. I do um, weekly makeup baskets. I don't know. Let me know if there's anything you want to see or what is the one thing you look forward to seeing in my Vlogmas. Let me know in the comments down below. Anyways, guys, subscribe if you're new. Uh, let me know what makeup you're also using when you're letting me know about the Vlogmas info. Otherwise, I will see you in my next video. Bye!